I'm Sarah J. Storer, and we're gonna start it out sexy tonight. I hope that's okay with you. This is the premature ejaculation song. I know you think it won't last long, but I am here to tell you that you'd be wrong. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. It's okay. It happens, you know, sometimes to every song. It's not a big deal. Um, my favorite reaction to that song every time I do it, there's always one of you in the audience that goes, oop. <laughs> that is exactly the right reaction. Thank you. Now, this next song was inspired by a man I dated recently. He was a good man in that he didn't try to gaslight me or sleep with my friends. I have low standards. But he was also a good man in that he did good man things. He had a job. He held my hand in public. He did not have a mustache because like good men know, having a mustache affects everyone around you. And one day, after another long and beautiful conversation about things like feelings and privilege and how toxic masculinity is, like, bad, he made a particularly astute observation about self-care, weaving in a line from a poem he had recently read, and I looked him dead in the eye. And I said a line that became the chorus and the title of this song. Talking late at night up until the morning sunrise. Every new part of you a surprise. Every time you show me you have feelings, well, boy, you sure know how to send this lady reeling down a straight line. I'm on a straight line. Boy, you're on a straight line to bone town. Hearing that you checked up on your mom just because so eloquently about self-love and that one time you stopped and smiled at a baby well boy you sure know how to drive this lady crazy and we're on a straight line but we're on a straight line let's get on Oh, 
admitting you go to therapy willingly. Oh, God. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Having deep conversations about emotional healing every time you act like a grown ass man. I book a trip to a It's really not that hard to get into a lady's pants, gentlemen. <laughs> Just be a goddamn good person. That's all we're asking for. Thank you in the back. Thank you. For my final song tonight, I wrote this song from start to finish in 45 minutes in just a rage. Um, because I decided I was done. I, I was done that day of holding myself and being held to this really weird um, beauty standard that women are all held to. Like I, and it's been a lifetime of this. And all, every woman in this room has experienced this. In fact, I remember when I was five years old, I looked in my mom's Good Housekeeping magazine, and they had these silhouettes of women with just like fruit for bodies. And then next to the fruit ladies, they were like, well, if, if your fruit body is like this, don't wear these clothes. Um, which, as if like women are not dehumanized enough, you have to make us a food that people force themselves to eat. Uh, so, you know, there would be like Jan, she's an apple shape, and Jan, you better cinch in that waist. And then there would be Karen, and Karen was the grapes, and oh God, Karen, no jumpsuits for you. And then there was Grace, the carrot, goddamn Grace. Grace, you wear, wear whatever you want, Grace, you beautiful carrot. <laughs> and then there was Susan. Oh, poor Susan. Susan was just a big old bag of Florida oranges. <laughs> just wear a sack, Susan, and never show your arms, is what they'd say. And um, I don't know if you noticed when I came up here that according to that rubric, which I still see in my Facebook feed to this day in ridiculous ads, which you can report and block those, ladies. Um, yes. I am a pear. I am a pear. That is, that is my body. Great. I'm a pear. Um, and the day I wrote this song, I, I thought of that, that phrase in my head that's been sticking with me since I was a kid, that, oh, I'm pear-shaped. And I'm like, no, fuck that. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not shaped like a pear or whatever the fuck else. And I, I'm just done. I'm done with, like, deprivation diets. I'm done with ads for tea that make you shit yourself. Um, <laughs> I am done with uh, being defined by like how my ass looks in a dress. And spoiler work alert, it looks amazing because I say so. Oh. So in the midst of that rage, this is the song I wrote. I'm pear-shaped. At least that's what they say. Cause my thighs are big, my ass is what it is, and my cup size is only A. I'm pear shaped. They say there's things I shouldn't wear horizontal stripes and things too tight cross my derriere. They call me a pear. Try to make me fear what I see every day when I look in the mirror. And I just want to say I am not shaped like a pear. I'm shaped like a woman. Yeah. 
Cause I am a woman and this is my shape I don't need your judgments Your advice or your complaints I'm shaped like a woman Cause this is my body and this is its shape And what I put on it or in it Isn't your business and I am not ashamed To be shamed I'm shaped like a woman. Uh, 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 uh. Every day when I pick up my phone, I am giving my shoulds and told what is good for a female on her own. They say, don't let it all out. Hold it all back just a bit. Cause you'll never find love if you are too much in the on you. I am what I am. And oh yeah, fuck you too. I'm shaped like a woman. Cause I am a woman and this is my shape. I don't need your judgments, your advice, or your complaints. I'm shaped like a woman. Cause this is my body and this is its shape. What I put on it or in it isn't your business and Thank you.